Uh, hi guys, here I am again. Now comes the second part. Uh, the reason why it took me so long to record this video here was that I had to... I'm st I have still not finished. I am still uh, set doing the setup of the computer for my mother. It's uh, an iMac from the beginning of 2008. Uh, a 24 inches iMac that I have to install. I have almost finished, but not not completely. And uh, yeah, when I did the computer, I the whole time I so I was thinking the whole time what I will say here, what I will say in this difficult uh, difficult video about my my abominable damnable answers that I gave to O in 2009, yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, just in order, because I mentioned that I collected firearms, I stopped collecting firearms in, 2000, in summer 2005, and the last firearm I gave away in... Uh, Summer 2010, so uh, I have no, si and since summer 2010 I haven't had any firearms anymore, and I'm also not interested in them anymore. I oppose firearms, and I hope that in, in the long term, also I oppose all kind of uh, weapons, uh, and I hope that in the... That as quickly as possible the, the world can completely disarm and uh, this is of course only possible if if every body all parties uh, credibly agree to disarm um, that one can trust them that they really disarm and then everybody has to disarm at the same time like that it would it would work uh, Or maybe by genetically engineering humans so that there is no aggression anymore found in the behavior and emotions of humans. Maybe both uh, both uh, measures are necessary. Disarmament and genetic engineering so that no aggression at all is, is left uh, in the emotions of and thoughts of, uh, of people. But now back to my wrong answer that I gave to O. I mean, this was the ba these answers were probably the the basis, the base for my later uh, I could call it persecution, but it was a an absolutely justifiable persecution. It was a yeah, it was the the reaction, the retribution, the punishment for my wrong being in every way yeah for my uh damnable attitude so i tell that i say the the second wrong answer i think there were this with hitler i already said this was the worst answer because it showed the total contempt for for all victims of of hitler and what he did what he stood for, what he, yeah, what he caused. And uh, the second wrong answer was that O, when O asked me, it was in front of several people, it was a room full of computer science students, it was uh, in an exercise room where computers, a lot of computers for doing computer science exercises were and the room and on every in front of every computer a uh, computer science student uh, set including O and me and he asked me uh, about killing about kill about the issue and he asked me a question about the issue of killing or murdering yeah uh, I don't remember how exactly he asked it, but it was... Ah, yeah, he, he asked me, he told me I 
No, as, yeah, now I remember there were two two questions, maybe on two different days. On In one question, he said me, uh, I want, also, uh, or, or said, I want to kill. And then I told him, this was, this answer was, uh, was still relative, not so bad, like the other one. I, I first said this, uh, because it's, I, I I remember that his question in this case. In the other case, I don't remember it exactly. In this in this where in this case where he said I want to kill somebody or people or just kill generally, I told him why don't you feed a a cute animal? This was my answer. Instead of killing, feed a cute animal. Yeah, not such not a really uh, where. Not the. I I I just I didn't answer his question, but I. Uh, ausweichen. I. Uh, ausweichen in 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 English. I. Uh, I tried to go into another direction, and I didn't answer that. I didn't say no. Don't do that. Killing is always absolutely wrong. Unless there is a democratic decision uh, for capital punishment, maybe. But uh, it, this should only be done in very rare cases. Very rare cases, in my opinion. And the population should decide it. Not me or anybody else, but the whole population. In case of very serious crimes. Uh, uh, so... This is my opinion now. But then I just said, yeah, why don't you feed us a, a cute animal? Okay, you can you can say that. And, uh, but I should have uh, said additionally, uh, killing is wrong. And in case of feeding an animal, I should also have, of course, then said, on, only feed the animal with fruits or plants or... Or vegetables, no, and not or another, and not with the body or body part of a, of an animal that was killed in order to be fed to another animal. This this is of course also important, and this I did of course didn't think about that at all. For, for me, it was just nice feeling, yeah, feeding an animal, yeah, good gives a good feeling for me as a human. If you feed, if you eat, you always should ask yourself, what are you eating? But, well, yeah. It has, is it an, at the body of an animal that you are eating? Which is wrong. I, unless the animal died uh, of natural uh, causes at the end of, of, uh, of its life. Yeah. Uh, and the other answer, this was a really wrong answer. It was similarly wrong, like when I told him that Hitler was just a natural accident. Uh, this was when he asked me uh, also again uh, 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 about killing. And uh, I don't remember here. I really don't remember his question about my answer was, yeah, you can kill one third. Just, I don't know, one third of people or one third of... I don't know what I exactly meant. But it was, I remember I said one third you can kill and two thirds you let leave. Or, or, I, or I just said you, you kill one third. Or maybe in the universe you kill one third of entities, creatures and... Uh, Maybe those who oppose you, maybe I thought about that, or those those who are not progressive enough. Yeah, I had a, a, this I still have in some ways, of course. But then I was very proud and I, of being very pro so-called progressive, yeah. I now I still think I'm progressive, but hopefully in a more uh, responsible way. But then I, I was so proud and... Uh, arrogant about being progressive and everybody who was conservative who who was traditional i i not only disliked but i also of course would have been 
uh, ready to kill this creature or person. Otherwise, I wouldn't have said that, and I that you can kill one third of 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 creatures or people, and. Uh, For me, this was clear. These were the the conservative ones. Yeah. Not good. Not good. Yeah. Not good at all. But it's important that the information gets out now about my past, about my attitudes in the past. It was uh, it was in late spring, early summer, two thousand and nine. So around uh, nine and a half years ago was this. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. It's important to know that. I, I cannot I cannot do these videos here and uh present myself as some kind of politicians politician, responsible politician and then I have this past and don't tell about it. And I also have to explain why later the one year later, then uh, or reacted, or or he he initiated the reaction by the society here in Switzerland, and I was given at least twice the substance uh, that caused the psychosis. But uh, this was it was good. I was so lucky because then a guy, another guy from an evangelical church here in the area of the Zürcher Oberland, he came. He we met, he, I encountered him, I encountered him, and he introduced me to this evangelical church, and this probably saved me, because these beautiful songs and the, the, the love that I experienced there, combined with the extreme pressure and a growing mounting psychosis of this, of the effects of this unknown substance, these together created a love psychosis then. So the psychosis of fear and feeling of immense feeling, tremendous feeling of feeling of being totally, extremely persecuted changed into a love feeling, into a messiah's feeling, yeah. But this, this all, this was only possible, or this was caused by my previous uh, total... Uh, uh, how do you say, damnable attitude. And I have to say that even during the love psychosis, when the mouse cursor on my computer monitor also moved in a strange way, not just like that, but then, 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 always when I answered, it moved. Uh, even then, I was still, I still had wrong attitudes. I was still not the guy I'm like I'm now. Although I'm I was already in the love psychosis, I, I had this extreme fear of being persecuted. I had already changed a lot, but still not sufficiently. I was still I for example still loved in a, in some ways about uh yeah about the Holocaust then. I still didn't really really realize what it means if people mistreat and even kill other people and this in a in a systematic and industrial way yeah but now i i i understand it i understand it i now i think i i've changed sufficiently and uh i hope at least and and I'm also now doing these videos because I, I don't have I don't have anything to hide anymore. So I have to stop now. It's 14 minutes and 25 seconds. Soon it's 15 minutes. So I have to stop now. It's sand, early Sunday morning, 11th of November 2018. 4 o'clock in the morning, 4 a.m. and 40 minutes and 45 seconds now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. And as I have said, this what my wrong attitude was in two thousand and nine. So nine and a half years ago. Bye.